is it the, his best the stage? Plan? I wouldn't say his best stage, but it, it's probably one of his best neutrals. Okay. Yeah, because that platform is helping so Okay, much. so it looks like Dak is going to be playing on the defensive end. Oh, uh, Jab in your teammate. Oh, oh, the tornadoes. The red team is definitely controlling the stage right now. I don't know what that up B was. Nice. Side B. Oh, okay, so this like knows what he's doing. Okay, sweet. Dak is a really good player. He just doesn't get enough time to practice. But nice job. maybe he'll be able to work something out uh, with his team. Uh, is he throwing Gordos correctly? I don't know. Um, I think his Gordos are a little too close. He's kind of like in the middle when uh, when everyone's on like his left and right. Wake up dying oh. super early. Oh, we're gonna have to play. All right, we're gonna have to hop off uh, commentary. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll probably be back later. Okay? Yeah. Exactly. All right, take we'll it easy, guys. Later. Hey, this is Layrad, and uh, we're just gonna get commentating this match. All right, so it's a two-on-one scenario, but uh, I guess pretty much dead. So uh, Yoshi could do this in theory. He has good kill options, but um, I mean, it, it it's looking pretty stacked against him. So I didn't even realize I had another stock. So uh, okay, okay. So this is a this is gonna be a tough situation for Yoshi. Like I said, he has really good kill options and good projectile game. He'll have to camp them as best as he can to really have a chance. So that's good, getting the neutral be in. Um, command grabs are always really useful. Um, and Exhale, I've seen him play before. He's really good. He's good with the B reversals. But um, getting a lot of damage in there. That down air does so much. Um, it's just, it's going to be, it's an uphill battle. Yep, uh, that's an unfortunate way to, to, to lose that uh, game. But uh, good job, you know. It's fun to see Nidini. It's one of the cool match. things about Over these here. sets is that you get to see a lot of interesting Zion. character matchups. So it's fun to see Dedede with um, yep. It's fun to see Dedede with an Ike team. That's I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen that pair before. But it's a heavyweight team, so it's it's fun to see. I don't know where they're going next. Um, we'll see what how how they what kind of stages they choose. I feel like it's team like Swordsman Silly, so there's one Swordsman on each team and then one Silly character. So you have like a Funky Dinosaur and Big big Fat Penguin with uh, Hero Swordsman. I don't know, I don't know that that really was deliberate. I don't know if both teams got together and maybe talked and just talked about how much they love Silly characters. But uh, you can never deny that. I don't know who's feeling like they would get an advantage from going to Lilac. Most people hate it. Um, I like it personally. If you can handle, if you can deal with the edges, with the ledges, it's it can be fun. There's they're low platforms, so you get a lot of coverage from the top. Um, let's get let's get started. A lot of good combos from Yoshi being a, have a good awareness. Um, Ike interrupting uh, Link's down air. I mean, I think I think uh, Dak is doing the right thing by just putting a lot of projectiles up there. I think they're they're difficult to deal with, but it can also be counterproductive if the other team's hitting them back towards you. So Link getting the good downer there. Uh, let's see if. Oh wow, 
See, that's the sort of move that you can get away with in doubles, uh, DDD's up B, but it's really hard to get all, get <laughs> get in singles. And then he just used it to, to get the kill finally there. And uh, yeah, DDD just kills so early and he's got rage now. So it's really dangerous. So does Ike. Both of them heavyweights, a lot of kill power. Um, and if Ike's engaging both of the other players, it gives DDD a lot of flexibility to do land with those up Bs. Uh, he just got caught. But so heavy, he survives, ends up killing his own teammate and survives. And then he just, they pulled, they pulled that stock out, so that's good for them. Um, pretty pretty even game right now. Um, obviously, blue team's in the lead because Ike has not died yet. Not commentator's curse. So, um, pretty even game now. Uh, you know, almost down to the percent. Link, obviously, with a lot of damage. So, blue team's got to work on, on closing his stock out. Um, you know, off perfect opportunity there because he was off stage. Wow, Yoshi just catches everybody in that. So, But unfortunately, his own teammate was caught in that down air as well, so takes a lot of damage there. Down B for, for some damage. Yoshi trying to trying to keep DDD off stage. Let's see how that goes. He's trying to keep him off stage. Yoshi with a great off stage game because he has invincibility off that uh, second jump up until he uses a technique. And Link loses the stock there. I, wasn't, I didn't even catch what, what killed him. But uh, he loses that stock. Link with that up, that up smash. Uh, really, really interesting up smash because it's three hits, and he's just keep, he's just gonna keep going. He's just keeping people above him, just gonna keep up tilting, up smashing until he uh, turns into something. So, oh, oh, and Ike with his own up smash, saying, "Hey, I've got ups too." So, uh, and coming across, gets caught in a, a wind vacuum. There. Okay, Link with the up smash, never stopping. All right, so we've got Swordsman left, and Yoshi's gonna come back here in a second. There we go. So now again, we've got a two-on-one scenario, but seems like the inverse of the last game um, where now it's a red team on a two-on-one against Ike. Ike fighting the whole uh, match by himself so this is going to be difficult for him but he's got rage he can he can quickly kill Link and then if he can space out well he can uh, he can kill Yoshi. The problem being Link is pretty heavy himself and gets the down air. Great great move. Uh, just got to space himself out. Keep, okay that's going to be problematic. Oh gets out just at the perfect time forward smash against link if you can get link out of there and link is just going ham with those okay there it is link on and now Ike almost at max rage if you can get some percent on get him up to 70 or 80 percent and he can probably even less um, with as much rage as he has he could probably kill him fairly early off of lilat um, he's got good kill options off of his aerials obviously his smash attacks are lethal um, so he's gonna now the problem being that Yoshi also has plenty of kill Oh wow, the missed punish. That could have been an up smash and that would have been a game. Now Ike is back in it. They're both it, even though Ike has twice as much damage as Yoshi, they're both at kill percent theory. There it is with the down smash, Ike with the game. Wow, great. Really fun. Can never count Ike out. Those smash attacks so strong, so lethal. 